Look what I got. I'm now an official member of Ark Adventures. Oh. And for their adventures, because they're wonderful people and they're going to have a great time and you want to watch from their viewpoint what's happening on this 50th birthday. Cheers. <laughs> closing it to like seal it but it was a little crazy a little bit of a whistle and then the hangers were hangering oh, in yeah, the closet yeah. so yeah the, ha the hangers are all like jingling in the closet so I had to make sure they were all towards the middle and like shoved together so that helped <laughs> so let us know if you've heard hangers in your closet like jingling around there's our mini breakfast What's to come tonight? <laughs> Again. Uh, beignets or beignets? <laughs> oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at those little beauties. Beignets. Who's ready? Thank you. All right. Ice cream, banana. Very good. Mm. Mm. So you gotta eat over it, right? And there's some strawberry. And I oh. think that's chocolate dipping. Oh boy. So these are very hot, right off the, fresh off the buses, powdered sugar. All right, this is chocolate. So far, no powdered sugar has ended up on my clothing like somebody I won't mention across the table from me. Is it me? <laughs> A little scoopy-doo of chocolate. I had to dust my shirt off only once. That's yeah, good. these are good. I definitely recommend cutting them with a fork and knife. Unlike this. 
But I think I'm gonna try to take the beignet, dip it in the banana foster sauce. Here we go. This might be the way to go. It is the way to go. Mm. You heard it here. <laughs> the way to go is dipping your beignet in the banana foster juice. Sauce. Yeah. sauce? Yeah, so we did not have the beignets our first trip on Mardi Gras. These are something else. They're like little pillows of gloriousness. Very good. We are just sitting here, very chilled today. We're sharing a Bloody Mary, but it's got a kick to it. So. I think we're just relaxing, which works, you know, we don't always have to be on the go. But yeah, very spicy. Two giant olives, so I think I gotta eat all the ice in order to get to the olives. Anyway, lunch coming up in an hour or two. All right, so we are taking part in trivia. It is the 50th Carnival Trivia. John Heal is doing it. We'll see how many we get out of 20. Yeah, they said to study up on your carnival history. Unfortunately, we did not have we the time, not. but... Right. So, we'll let you know how many we get out of 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, we're sitting so far apart. Uh, shower. <laughs> this is the first time I sat down today. <laughs> Yeah, and the people are really believing you. Right, welcome to a very special trivia. I know you've got things to do and places to go. Yeah, I'll should we do that? Yes, let's do that. All right. I'm just going to go now, grab something. So where are you going now? I just have to. <laughs> He's forgotten something. What are you doing now? What are you doing? My pants is falling <laughs> <laughs> eBay, they're eight bucks. And then of course we have that low thread count white t-shirt that says bingo. And then a package bingo. Do you want me to throw in an extra prize to spice things up? Okay. I will throw in a photo of Calvin and I from 2011. <laughs> when we both went trampolining in thongs. <laughs> or in your case, a G-rope. <laughs> no, but it, that doesn't work. No, it because doesn't. if a really thin person says that to me, it's funny. Oh, right. But people are going, mm, pot kettle. You too, yeah, yeah, pot kettle. Yeah. yeah, I get so it. You probably shouldn't do that, Joe. I get it, all Sorry. right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're a little rusty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. If Canada's national animal was sailing on the very first ship... Sorry, of sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing 50... I'm doing the Carnival 50th birthday party. The first one is not that. We, we have different ones, there's three versions. <laughs> oh, so, okay. I give you the easier one. Just to, if Canada's what is Canada's national animal? Well, don't. That's going to be the, the answer. No, we going, We have to stick to the script. Don't say anything. Okay. Can I finish, please? Go on then. Don't micromanage me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beaver, isn't it? Uh, you just gave my answer. Oh, out. sorry. It was good. If Canada's national animal was cruising on the very first carnival cruise ship, which animal would you see? We are celebrating 50 years, and you're making a question up about something you've never seen. Okay, in 1972, what was the name of Carnival's first, Carnival Cruise Line's first ship? Easy. I mean, that's, that's a giveaway. That's a confidence booster. Alright, we have the 50th 
uh, little logo in there. It's the shark's big chicken. And then I got into the street eats. I was starving. It's three o'clock. Yep, starving. So, this is pretty good. Look at this. Slaw on there, shark sauce, big chicken. Oh, and just as we thought, we did terrible at trivia, but it was pretty fun to watch with John and what was what was the other guy's name? I can't uh, think of his name. Like name. All right, let's go. There you go. I barely worked it. <laughs> So we have a hurricane and then the Bayou Lemonade again. So she likes the Bayou Lemonade. Cheers. Bye. Oh. Tastes like a hurricane. Mine does not taste the same. No, yours should be lemony. Mine does not taste the same as yesterday. No? Tastes like melon still. So we came back to the room to our first tall animal. I think it's an elephant. But the cool part, look at that. Hope if it'll focus. Yeah, a 50th pin. That's really cool. So add that to our collection. But it's time to get ready for a formal dinner night. formal dinner, relaxing afternoon. You saw it, so let's go get some lobster. Have a relaxing evening. Yeah, lobster sounds good. Formal dinner night and the way we got married 2017. Yep. This is what we wore for footwear. So we're wearing our wedding shoes. <laughs> there it is. So yeah, we had uh, wedding our, shoes for the win. I had a tux and then the chucks and then so did uh, the bride side. So. I didn't have tux, but I had well, tux. you didn't have the tux part, but the chucks. <laughs> Alright, oh. well, we're going to dinner. Alright, see you there. So, we're off to a good start. We got sparkling water, wines, another one, and a cheer. Cheer. Bam. Here's to a good formal night dinner. Carnival's 50th. Fried oysters, everybody. And, oh. So, Andy did a little misspoke, misspeak. He, instead of saying two appetizers, he said he would take two, one Meaning fried oyster, two. and yeah. another. So, he so. got two fried oysters. <laughs> Wild mushroom bisque. So, we'll see how that is. So what do you think everyone might guess we got from Formal Night? Lobster or lobster? Lobster. Oh, that looks good. And lobster. Bon appetit. But the next Formal Night is something you oh, haven't yeah. seen. So stay tuned. They're bringing out some specials for the 50th, so can't wait. Yeah, so I got a new thing for me. I usually always get a shrimp cocktail. So it's the fried oysters. I'm kind of so-so on that. I think I would prefer a shrimp cocktail, honestly. But wild mushroom bisque soup. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So highly recommend that if it comes up. And I usually add salt, pepper to everything. I left it alone and it's really good. So. That's the way. And if you know, you know, Andy can't have more. <laughs> Andy can't just have one. I say, entree. that's for you, Bob. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bob would appreciate a little extra food. And of course. 
the lovely sound oh. of creme brulee. Oh, creme brulee. <laughs> Enjoy. Woo! Don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think you'd understand. And if you tell my heart, my achy breaky heart, he might blow up and kill this man. And I'll be young and sexy too 